Hi, welcome to another edition of Life of a Queen. I'm Mildred Pisa Hiwe Sedo for the first Miss Nigeria. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking on rape. Recently I had attended um, a rape walk, which was titled Walk Against Rape. And before I went for it, I carried out my own research on rape. And I discovered that one out of four women have been raped. 70% of which happens before the age of 18. Now, out of that 70%, 8% seek help and only 3% actually get help because most people believe that for the woman to have been raped, then it is her fault. Rape is the only crime that is committed and the victim is being blamed for the crime. It is a wildfire that spreads every day and should be taken seriously. Every day, you hear of one child that is being raped by either a relative or a stranger. Would you say it is the child now that was responsible for being raped, an innocent child that doesn't know anything? Now, even boys can be raped as well. Sometimes we don't understand how that happens, but we know that a male child can be molested or coerced into sexual activity. That has not been given consent to that he has not given consent to just before i continue i would like to give a brief definition of what rape is rape is the use of force or coercion to take something that doesn't belong to you sexually basically i say that because a victim who is raped didn't give consent to the sexual activity whether or not the person is old enough to give a consent now, if it is child rape, definitely anybody that is not up to the age of 18 cannot even give consent as an adult. So if the child is being raped, you can't blame the child for being raped because the child didn't even have the permission to even give consent or even knows what is happening. Now, this in turn creates a ripple effect on the individual because at the end of the day, if it is a female, and it is not well taken care of, she's not taken to the doctor or the psychologist to get help, she begins to feel abandoned, she begins to feel worthless. Some of them end up, end, end up going into prostitution or becoming very dysfunctional in the society, becoming a very dependent woman or an angry woman or a woman that, a woman that is not just pleasant. And for the guys, they in turn become rapists because at the end of the day they will say nobody cared when i was being raped everybody thought i'm a boy i can't be raped so now this begins to create a ripple effect that is why i supported the work against rape because many more people need to know about rape need to know that the victim is never to be blamed for rape the work against rape happened in lagos at ikeja and we had a long walk where we were able to talk to people in the society, in that environment. And then we discovered that up to today, some men kept saying, it's the girl's fault. She wore short skirt. She wore an explosive blouse. So now, does that mean that they do not have a moral or a virtue in them that tells them what is right from wrong? So because now you see somebody wearing the wrong outfit, that automatically says you must rape the person. That is a very wrong mentality but they don't even see anything wrong with it because they don't know it is wrong. The fact that somebody is wearing a wrong outfit, in your opinion, doesn't mean it is right for you to rape the person. This is why we had to create that awareness and let people know that it is wrong to rape. No means no. Even if she, her body is saying, or even if you claim that her body movement is telling you a different thing, once the person says no, it means no. Even if the guy is a very manly man and is behaving as if he actually is attracted to you, if he says no, it means no. No need to force anybody into something that they don't want to do. If you don't have consent, then it is rape. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Life of a Queen. I'll catch you next week with another brand new topic. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Miss Nigeria TV. Bye.